welcome to She Knows TV. I'm your host, Whitney, with The Buzz. Wedding bells for Daniel Craig and Rachel Weiss. The couple had only been dating for six months, but Rachel's rep confirms they've tied the knot. Reports say the ceremony took place last week in upstate New York with only four guests. Rachel's four-year-old son, Daniel's 18-year-old daughter, and two close friends. Before hooking up with Craig around Christmas time, the actress was previously engaged to Black Swan director Darren Aronofsky since 2005. Transformers Dark of the Moon may have been released this week, but it wasn't the robots that were making headlines. The series' main star, Shia LaBeouf, told Details Magazine that he hooked up with Megan Fox while filming the first movie. Yeah, you heard right, Megan Fox married Megan Fox. Details reports Shia shook his head yes when asked if anything went down with his super hot co-star. And he told the mag, it was what it was. Before tying the knot to Brian Austin Green, Fox and the actor had been dating exclusively for seven years, including her stint in Transformers. Looks like someone has some explaining to do. And this week, I got the chance to chat with Nick Jonas, who checked in with us via satellite from Chicago, where he's conducting an online search for the next young pop star. Check it out. Hey guys, you are in for a real treat today. We have Nick Jonas streaming into the studio to talk to us about his new campaign. Hey Nick, it's Whitney from She Knows. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Good, so let's get right to it. Tell me about this amazing campaign you're working on with Quaker Chewy. Concept came up to do this, this talent search, and. Uh, it's been a really fun process so far and, and we're hoping to find a young person who is as passionate about music as I was at that age and, and I think we'll find an amazing talent out there. And how old were you when you knew you wanted to be a musician? I was very young. I, I've been singing from um, the time I could speak and so I was uh, always very passionate about it and the fact that I've, I've been able to make it my career and, and the thing that I, I do every day is a real blessing for me and, and I, uh, I hope to do it for a long time. We hope you do too. So what's going to make a kid stand out in this competition? I think the thing that I'm looking for is someone with a real voice, uh, a true talent overall, and uh, you know the, the things that it takes to be a, a real superstar. And, and I think with this demographic, we'll find someone really unique. And what advice would you give to parents who want to get their kids started in a musical career? Follow their, their, their dreams with them. You know, it's, uh, it's always great to have a young person who's passionate about music and passionate about a, a life in music. Um, and if you can get behind them, I think it'll provide for an amazing opportunity for both you and them. Awesome. I hope the campaign is a huge success. But changing gears, you, Joe, and Kevin all seem to have a lot going on separately these days. Does that mean it's over for the Jonas Brothers as a group? No, it's definitely not over for the Jonas Brothers as a group. Uh, we have a lot of exciting opportunities as kind of individuals right now that we're looking forward to tackling and, and making our priority. But our focus as a group is still there, and we'll come back eventually and, and do another record and, and, and a tour, I'm sure. Good. We'll be looking forward to that. But for now, you have a lot on your plate. In August, you'll be starring as Link in Hairspray. I'm excited to return to theater and, and play Link in Hairspray. It'll be at the Hollywood Bowl in, in California, which will be fun. And, um, it's an amazing cast, and I'm, I'm so honored they've asked me to be a part of it. And what else is on the agenda for this summer? My other summer plans in, include uh, a couple shows here and there, some gigs, and uh, enjoying just writing and producing for other people and uh, some quality time with friends and family as well. Thanks, Nick. Well, you heard it here. The Joe Bros are not breaking up. Woo! And now for our She Knows sightings. X Factor judge Nicole Scherzinger celebrated her 33rd birthday this weekend at the Marquee Day Club in Las Vegas. Later, the pop star danced the night away at Tao where she surprised the crowd with an impromptu performance of her new song, Right There. Jennifer Aniston was looking beautiful in black while visiting the Jon Stewart show in New York this week. The Horrible Bosses star posed for pics and showed off her adorable blonde bob. And Halle Berry and daughter Nala were spotted hanging out at a playground in Los Feliz on Monday. The three-year-old was quite the energizer bunny, taking on the slide, the monkey bars, and the park's trolley. For more entertainment news, head over to SheKnows.com and be sure to check out our love section today for part two of my interview with True Blood's Kristen Bauer, where you can see intimate pictures of her Wisconsin wedding. I'll see you next Friday for Hollywood's latest buzz.